Do you feel happy here? Of course I'm happy here. Aren't you? Someone's here. When was the last time we had a visitor? Faux is a really interesting one because there's so many different stories that are happening at the same time. There's the story that we think that's happening and then there's the story that's really happening. Therein lies what's very exciting but from a directorial point of view. At the core of it is a marriage in crisis, but you've got this element that we are always as an audience slightly behind the characters. I need to have an intimate understanding of your marriage, the good and the bad. It's between you and me. What myself and Garth were interested in is this story for all of its kind of moving parts. As Junior and Hen's relationship grows and she begins to feel secure, you then have another twist in the tale that destroys all of that. I think they were kind of the architectural elements of the writing and the excitement of what we had ahead of us. There's all these wonderful metaphors in the story, how the decaying marriage reflects the decaying planet and these really philosophical questions sit in the fabric of the storytelling. Garth is very curious in the best way and I think that's exactly who you need to be telling this story. Just concentrating on these three performances was exciting because Garth has such a connection to the characters and the stories that he's telling. I was very drawn to how he shows families and relationships and love between couples. It's a feeling and when you have it, it is exhilarating. Patrice and Garth really explored what a realistic future would look like. There's old and there's new. This film represents a fifth generation farmhouse, but then it has the big chicken factories and it has the drones and it shows bits of what the future will look like. It needed to be relatable. We had to really think around how we designed the sets, um, how much technology we saw. Garth's idea to make the audience believe in the incredible aspect of the story. You need to ground everything in a reality and not try to over-design it. You really have to feel the ghost of the room. You always have to feel that the house has been lived in over time. The house stays anchored in a certain past, and only the futuristic elements come from Terrence, who brings changes to their lives. They're going to the installation. I don't know. Listen to me. I don't like how you just show up here. I think Matt Diaz was so wonderful at working with Garth and finding the camera in the room and finding who to follow so that we can really explore the characters to make sure that we're getting both of their journeys. Garth is extremely precise about what he wants in terms of composition, lens size, camera movement, even light. He knows what the film needs and that kind of feeling within the house very much has his directorial style all over it. Whatever we decide, let's decide together.